And artificial intelligence can do this in the not-too-distant future. All the clips you've seen so far in this video were created by AI, and none of them were real. The tool I'm introducing today takes your imagination and turns it into images. But that's not where the story ends. It also transforms those images into videos. The slogan of this tool is, with us, turn your imagination into reality. How to use Catalyst AI. First, go to the Catalyst AI website. Here we are on the main page of Catalyst AI. They've briefly highlighted the options and capabilities of their tool. Make sure to take a look at it yourself. Now to begin, click on the sign in button. You have three ways to give your story to the tool. One, you can upload it as a file. Two, Write your initial idea as a sentence and the tool will expand it into a full story for you. Three, or you can start a blank project. I want the tool to create a story for me. I'll just use the suggested sentence because I think it's good and I won't change it. Now the tool will create a story for you and write prompts for each scene separately. But I like to challenge my creativity in this area. Based on the sentence you have here, write a short story and paste it. At this stage, you can also use chatbots. Then click Go. If you don't like a scene, you can easily edit it like this. Once you're done, click on the check mark and finally click Next. You'll arrive at this page. Here, you need to write the name of your project. I think the name it suggested is nice. In the next section, you'll choose the clip size. I'd like to try 16.9. Finally, you need to set the art style. There's a great variety, so it will satisfy almost any taste. And in the end, you have to choose your character's face. As you can see, there is a great variety to choose from. Click Create Project. The tool will first create images for your scenes. As you can see, the images are created with great precision and high quality. If you don't like an image, you can easily edit it by clicking this button. On the right side, we have some options. Here you can choose your camera angle. Below that, you can pick the shot type. Then in the next section, you can choose the action for your character. A bit further down, you can select the characters that will appear in the scene. In the advanced section, there's a negative prompt where you can list the things you don't want in the scene. Next, choose the location of your scene. If it's not what you like, you can write a prompt for it to create something for you. Now click Generate. It will create a few images for you. I liked this one, so I will click on it and choose this one. On the left, this option allows you to change your character's pose, like moving it up and down or changing the form of body parts. With this option, you can draw, write a prompt for it to add whatever you want to the scene. Finally, if you're happy, Click the check mark to save it. Then click here to turn your images into a video. Next, click on Generate Video. Now your images have become a video. 
You can get a preview of your work from the play section. Let's take a look at what we've made. If you're happy with the video you made, export it from here. It's that simple. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yay! Until the next video, goodbye.